Hello, and good afternoon. I'm Tawanda Jordan, president of St. Mary's College of Maryland, the National Public Honors College. What a year we've endured. Yet we continue to do what we need to do well and with the spirit of caring for and if possible celebrating with each other by whatever means that avail themselves to allowing us to do so safely. With that said, I want to welcome you virtually to our awards convocation ceremony. St. Mary's College of Maryland is an institution that believes in the concept of community. I'm truly grateful to have witnessed firsthand how our entire campus embraced that concept, stepped up and exemplified the St. Mary's way over the past year as we navigated a global pandemic together. I commend each and every one of you for the resilience and strength you have shown. Our awards convocation, one of our favorite events of the year, showcases the excellence of all that is St. Mary's College. We are here today to recognize and celebrate the highly accomplished members of our community who are considered paragons in areas that include service, leadership, teaching, and academics. So without further ado, we invite you to sit back, relax, and bask in the achievements of our exemplars. Our first award is new this year and one I'm particularly proud to offer. It is my pleasure to announce the inaugural Junior Faculty Professorship, or Pandion Haliatus, Haliatus Leucacephalus Professorship, named for our beloved Seahawk and the Bald Eagle, respectively. This two-year name professorship is presented to junior faculty who have been employed by the college for three to 10 years and who are exemplary teacher scholars within their academic program areas. These honorees exceed standards in teaching and or scholarly creativity and at a minimum meet standards for the other. These individuals are also good citizens of the campus community. Recipients will receive a salary enhancement during the time of their professorship and a $10,000 stipend to support their scholarly and or creative endeavor. There can be no more than two such awards in any department. When there are two, the more senior faculty member is named the Pandion Heliatus Professor, and the other honoree is the Heliatus Leucocephalus Professor because Seahawks trump Eagles. Named professorships like these assist in attracting and retaining exemplars such as today's recipients, which is paramount to our student success and the long-term viability and vibrancy of the college. This is especially important as we move forward with our lead initiative, blending inquiry-based discovery and professional career development skills for every graduate. Our first ever recipients are Emily Brownlee, Assistant Professor of Biology. Andrew Conrad Black, Assistant Professor of Sociology. Tori S. Dennis, Assistant Professor of Neuroscience. Gilly Friedman, Assistant Professor of Psychology. Jerry Gabriel, Assistant Professor of English. Liza Gihanto, Associate Professor of Anthropology. Cassie Gerbitz, Assistant Professor of Environmental Studies. Arhalia Hurtado, Assistant Professor of International Languages and Cultures, Spanish. Subin Yang, Assistant Professor of Educational Studies. Ellen Cole, Assistant Professor of Environmental Studies. George McLeod, 
assistant professor of international languages and cultures, French. Michelle Milne, associate professor of physics. Kelly Y. Nealis, associate professor of chemistry. Amy Steiger, assistant professor of theater studies. Troy Townsend, assistant professor of chemistry. And Antonio Uges, Jr., associate professor of political science. It is now my pleasure to present the Jordan Teaching Exemplar Award, established in 2017 to recognize members of the St. Mary's College community who exhibit exemplary teaching within or beyond the traditional classroom. In recognition of her foundational work developing and co-directing the Washington program, this year's recipient is Professor of Political Science, Sahar Shafkat. I created the President's Trailblazer Award in 2015 to honor those individuals or enterprises whose actions are notable firsts in the history of the college. This year's recipient accomplished many firsts as she took the lead on the college's health and wellness protocols during the COVID-19 pandemic. The 2021 Trailblazer Award goes to Lori Shearer, director of the Wellness Center. The St. Mary's Award, created in 2017, had its genesis in the Strategic Planning Steering Committee. The award was created to honor an individual or group whose actions and deeds epitomize the St. Mary's Way the ethos of respect, caring, service, and community to which we aspire. For his actions and deeds to safely reopen the college during the pandemic, this year's recipient is director of the physical plant, Brad Newkirk. Each and every one of these recipients I have just announced are the measures of our success. Please go to our awards convocation website where we have included more information about each award and have given you more biographical information on these well-deserving recipients. Now before I invite Provost and Dean of Faculty Mike Wick to continue with our program, I want to thank all of the families, friends, peers, and mentors of today's honorees. I also want to thank all of our donors and award sponsors for their continued commitment to St. Mary's College. Know that we could not do this without you. Your generous spirit helps to uplift our students and campus community, enabling them to reach back and help others. Provost Wick, please take it away. Thank you, President Jordan. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome. It is my great privilege to announce awardees for the 2021 St. Mary's College Virtual Awards Convocation. This ceremony provides a time for us to collectively marvel at the array of talent and demonstrated accomplishments exhibited by our students, faculty, and staff. As Dr. Jordan noted, we recognize, honor, and celebrate the good work that so many of you do. It is, indeed, a special opportunity for our community to acknowledge the achievements that we might otherwise not notice or mark in another way. Many of the following awards are made possible by private support. To our donors and friends of St. Mary's College, I also want to add thanks for supporting our college community. We value the contributions that you make so that our students and faculty can continue to do outstanding work. The awards convocation website has more information about each award 
as well as each awardee. I invite you to visit that site for more insights on how special these awards and honorees are. The Norton T. Dodge Award for Scholarly and Creative Achievement was created in 1989 by the late Norton T. Dodge, faculty emeritus, to recognize faculty accomplishments. In recognition of her exemplary scholarship and national impact on the field of psychology, a fellow across many divisions, and named a former Woman of the Year by the American Psychological Association, this year's award goes to Professor of Psychology Elizabeth Nutt Williams. Please know that on the awards convocation website, we have posted some remarks from Libby for this very special honor. The Homer L. Dodge Award for Excellence in Teaching by a junior faculty member was established in 2003 by the late Norton T. Dodge, faculty emeritus, to recognize excellence in teaching. This year's award goes to Assistant Professor of Theater Studies, Amy Steiger, in recognition of her insightful pedagogy and profound commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Andy Kozak Faculty Contribution to Student Life Award was established in 2011 by Don Stabile to recognize faculty members who are active participants in the student life at the college. For his guidance and advocacy for a newly forming student group, this year's award goes to Associate Professor of Political Science and Director of the Center for the Study of Democracy, Antonio Yuguez, Jr. The Joe Carroll Memorial Staff Award was established in 2012 by the Staff Senate through contributions from the college community to recognize non-exempt staff who dedicate themselves through exceptional integrity and service. The late Joe Carroll was a beloved employee of the college, and we are proud to present this award to an employee who embodies his spirit. In recognition of her positive outlook, unwavering stability, and professionalism, it is our great pleasure to present the 2021 Joe Carroll Award to Office Associate II, Michelle Hampton. Now we begin the portion of our awards convocation where we honor our student awardees. The next awards are the department and major awards. Our first award is the Department Award in Anthropology. The recipient of the Department Award in Anthropology is McKenna Latinsky. The next three awards are from the Department of Art and Art History. The first award is the McCutcheon Family Art Award. This year's recipient is Jenna Kinsey. The Linda Nochlin Prize. This year's award is Anna Lignelli. The William Thomas Rowe Endowed Scholarship in Art. This year's recipient is Francesca D'Angelo. The next four awards are from the Department of Biology. This year, there are two recipients for the Department Award in Biology. This year's recipients are Rustin Pear and Lindsay Stevenson. The Biology Department Award for Academic Distinction and Service goes to Kyle Musselman. The Outstanding Achievement in Principles of Biology Award goes to Sadaya Holsey. The Mandel Award in Biology for Outstanding Achievement in the Second Year goes to Selena Kaufman. The next two awards are from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. The Robert H. Goldsmith Award for Excellence in Chemistry goes to Selena Wood. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry Award for Excellence in Biochemistry goes to Amber Douglas. The next three awards are from the Department of Economics. The Economics Faculty Award goes to Abby Ray Clements. The Louise Victoria Lusby Award goes to Graham Boss. The Deke Reynolds Economics Award goes to Taylor Nicole Minor. The next award is from the Department of Educational Studies. There are two awardees for the Educational Studies Book Award. 
presented to Maura Mullaney and Monica Ellert. The next four awards are from the Department of English Language and Literature. The English Department Award for Scholarship goes to Devon Garner. The Margaret Eagle Dixon Award in Literature goes to two recipients, Alyssa Hawkins and Claire Kelly. The Michael S. Glazer Writing Award goes to Tia Lawrence. The Edward T. Lewis Poetry Award goes to Jasmine Prince. The next three awards are from the Environmental Studies Program. The Kate Chandler Award for the Study of Literature, Writing, and the Environment, Coal and St. Mary's Project, this year goes to Atlas Jackman. The Kate Chandler Award for the Study of Literature, Writing, and the Environment, Coal and Undergraduate Research or Writing, goes to Diana Clay. The Program Award in Environmental Studies goes to McKenna Lutinsky and Brenna Lutinsky. The next two awards are from the Department of History. The David Beers Quinn Award in History goes to Brian Morgan. The Allison Quinn Award in History goes to Ray Narvaez. The next awards are from the Department of International Languages and Cultures. There are three foreign language book prizes this year. The German Award goes to Jonathan Cruz. The French Award goes to Umul Mumi Nina Ba. The Spanish award goes to Victoria Mandolin Richard. The Latin American Studies Award is presented to Alyssa Tremaine Hawkins. The next three awards are from the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. The Maddie M. Key Award in Mathematics this year goes to Maura Mullaney. The Department Award in Mathematics goes to Beth Thomas. The Department Award in Computer Science goes to Thomas Walker. The next two awards are from the Department of Music. The Alice Fleury and Arthur S. Zamanowski Prize in Music goes to Alice Johnson. The Maddie M. Key Award in Music goes to Rachel Steelman. The next two awards are from the Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies. The Williams James Prize goes to Alexandra Efron. The Henry Rosemark Jr. Peace and Justice Award goes to Molly Rudo. The next two awards are from the Department of Physics. This year's Department Award in Physics goes to Jonah Salehi. The Physics Faculty Award for Outstanding Undergraduate Research goes to Camille Cartwright. The next three awards are from the Department of Political Science and Public Policy. The Department Award in Political Science goes to Cecilia Jones. The Hampton Davy Award goes to Andrew Sovinsky. Public Policy Award goes to Jamoni Barty. The next five awards will be from the Department of Psychology. The Lisa Zabetix Memorial Award goes to Merrill Verhoeven. The Margaret Floyd Washburn Award goes to Erica Holly Blair. The Psychology Major Award goes to Isabel Cartmill Lott. The J. M. Parizo Human Services Award goes to Elizabeth Claire Prather. The William Wundt Award goes to Catherine Ann Agate. The next award is from the Department of Sociology. The Department Award in Sociology this year goes to Ashley Enzer. The next award is from the Department of Theater, Film, and Media Studies. The Tori M. Maringolo Theater Award goes to Jada Johnson. 
The TFMS Department Award in Theater is awarded to two recipients, Shannon Lewis and Blue Jerome. The cross-disciplinary awards are the next four awards to be given. The African and African Diaspora Studies Award goes to Zina Moore. The Neuroscience Award goes to Samantha Jo Gallo. The, <clears throat> the Women, Gender, and Sexuality Award goes to Alexandra Utz. The Rhoda Stark Memorial Award in Gender Studies goes to Blue Jerome and Melody Raynaud. That concludes all of the 2021 Department Awards. We will now present the General College Awards. The Female Scholar Athlete Award goes to Brenna Latinsky. The Male Scholar Athlete Award goes to Graham Boss. The Geneva Boone Award for Outstanding St. Mary's Projects goes to Spencer Minor. The Margaret B. Marley Award for English or History goes to Nathaniel Peterson. The Myron G. Marley Award for Science goes to Elizabeth Prather and Catherine Frances Burcham. The Cooper Smith Leadership Award goes to Ruby Lynn Turner. The Dean's Award for Academic Excellence in the first year goes to Margaret Newman. The Community Service Award goes to Jadell Webster. The Board of Trustees Award goes to Calvin Ryan. Calvin Ryan is also the recipient of the Faculty Scholarship Award. The Betty W. Briscoe Award, provided by the John Hansen Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution, goes to Sam McCombs. The Maryland State Society Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship Award goes to Katie Gorsak. The next five awards are made possible by the dedication and gracious support of the Arts Alliance of St. Mary's College. The Barbara Bershon Arts Alliance Award in Music goes to Isabel Harsh. Kathy Glockner Arts Alliance Award for Theater Excellence goes to Blake Johnson. The Gail West Parmentier Arts Alliance Award for Creative Writing goes to Olivia Sotheran. Patty Runko Arts Alliance Award for Outstanding Work and the annual student art exhibit goes to Caden Sexton. The Virginia M. Stein Award for Excellence in Film and Media Studies goes to Spencer Rabinowitz. The John R. Petrocelli Memorial Award, established in 1981 in honor of John Rocco Petrocelli, to recognize juniors who demonstrate devotion to the college the cause of education and the responsibility to society is presented to Jada Johnson. The next award was established in the memory of Virginia and David Rosenbaum. The David and Ginny Rosenbaum Award for Excellence in Journalism goes to Olivia Sotheran. Thomas Penfield Jackson Award for Civic Responsibility and Democratic Citizenship, established in 2014 in memory of the Honorable Thomas Penfield Jackson to recognize students who pursue careers in public service, the law, international relations, or other activities that promote diversity in the country, goes to Charlotte McKay. The Weitzel Research Award, recognizing the value of hands-on research experience for undergraduates, goes to two individuals, Katherine Reisner for research in the sciences and April Frazier for research in the humanities. That concludes the presentation of awards.
The following student groups are listed on this year's awards convocation webpage. I invite everyone to view and recognize these remarkable students. Congratulations to the students who have earned a place on the Dean's List since last year's awards convocation. To be named to the Dean's List, a student must earn a semester grade point average of 3.5 or better and carry a course load of 12 or more regularly graded credits. Congratulations to St. Mary's Scholars, juniors and seniors who have earned at least 32 credit hours and whose cumulative grade point average is 3.5 or better. Congratulations to the students completing their junior or senior year and have been elected to Phi Beta Kappa primarily on the basis of scholarly achievement, broad cultural interests, and good character. Phi Beta Kappa, established in 1776, is the nation's oldest academic honor society. The college was elected to Phi Beta Kappa in the fall of 1997, and the students listed are the 22nd group of student members. On behalf of the Staff Senate, we'd like to congratulate all of the awardees at this year's awards convocation. Congratulations! Congratulations. On behalf of the faculty, we want to congratulate all the student award recipients and wish them the best of luck in all future endeavors. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. We can all join in with our faculty and staff in congratulating our student awardees for their impressive accomplishments. This concludes the 2021 Virtual Awards Convocation. Dr. Jordan and I would like to thank everyone for taking the time to join us today. I know this ceremony has been unlike those in years past, but thank you for helping to make this a special occasion for the award recipients as well as their family friends, and mentors. Just a reminder that more information on all of this year's awardees is available on the Convocation website. I invite everyone to view and recognize these remarkable students. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon. <laughs>